The Sharp Freeze is the most flexible freeze dryer in the market. There are two chamber sizes. You can choose 10 inches or 15 inches, and with or without a manifold on top. It also comes with shelves, and the shelf height is determined by whatever the customer needs. A shelf can accommodate a vial or a tray inside the freeze dryer. Or you can use a regular flask for the freeze drying. It can be in the size of one liter, two liters, half liter, or in smaller flask sizes. One thing that is unique about the Sharp Freeze in the market is that Aptech provides the Active app. The Active app has an enclosed chamber, and inside the chamber houses different sizes of vials. For example, these are 10 milliliter or 5 milliliter, and there are larger sizes, such as 40 milliliter, 50 milliliter, and 60 milliliter vials. Vials can be interchanged easily. The interesting part is that you can place this entire piece inside and freeze the whole thing before it is connected to the freeze dryer. The Active App allows for combination of all different sized vials simultaneously. The Sharp Freeze and Active App is a very flexible system. Now, if you look inside here, you see there are white caps on the vials. Underneath the cap is a filter. The filter prevents bumping and lyophilizer material from splashing or mixing with other material. So the Sharp Freeze is a slow, two-stage vacuum. One stage you have inside the chamber and another stage is slowly removing the air from inside the vials. This prevents any type of bubbling, bumping, or flying material mixing with other material. This is the flexibility of having the chamber you can have any type of freeze drying to be done. Now, the system is set up for minus 80 degrees, but you can see it shows minus 85 degrees. You also have a temperature sample, which is sampling the temperature of the material or peptides inside the chamber. At the moment, it shows 15.4 degrees. Then, in here, it shows you the vacuum on the Pascal or in PSI or whatever you really want. You can set it up how you want it. Now, in order to start the system, the vacuum pump needs to be connected to the system. Automatically, the vacuum pump will come on when the temperature reaches a certain minus degree setting. When you turn the system off, the pump automatically shuts down as well. So the system controls the pump. You see now the temperature is decreasing and now the pump comes on and the gauge will start reading the temperature and also the vacuum unit and Pascal which is set up. You will see very shortly that the temperature will start going down quickly. The pump is very quiet and reliable so a laboratory worker will not be disturbed by it. The Sharp Free system also provides automatic defrost. Just press defrost and it is automatically done for you. Now, you also have other advantages here. If you press here, the system guides you through operating it. For example, the graph shows you how it has been working the past three to four hours. Of course, in this case, it has not been running that long, so that information is not provided yet. In settings, you can set it up to run in temperatures. The system has two compression stages. In the beginning, it cools down very quickly. In the end, you may need only one compressor to be working, so the system automatically decides which compressor should come on and which should be turned off. The second stage is the vacuum system. Here, you can set up where and when you want the vacuum to come on and turn off. You can set up different Pascal, or how many minutes later the temperature has to come on, and it gives you the opportunity to run the system according to whatever you need. Now we come to the data. By pressing data, it shows you how the system has been working. It shows you the vacuum, the time, the temperature of the compressor, the temperature of the sample, and how the vacuum worked. So you have data to show you when and how the system changed over time. 
So if you want to see if your sample is done, all you have to do is look at the temperature and what you set it to be, such as room temperature. That shows you exactly when you need to turn it off and take the samples out. There are a lot of advantages to the Sharp Freeze system. To shut down the system, first you turn off the vacuum in the system by opening the air. The pump starts increasing because of the air going in. Now you press here to shut down the vacuum. You turn off the vacuum, the gauges, and the defrost. If you want the defrost on, simply leave it on. Then you turn refrigeration off and this automatically turns off the whole system. Another advantage of the Sharp Freeze is that you can freeze your sample inside the chamber. First, you turn the system on and turn on the refrigeration. So now, refrigeration comes on and the temperature goes down to what you set it. Now, you place your sample inside the chamber and you freeze it before you freeze dry it. So you do not need dry ice or anything else. You can use the Sharp Freeze to do both freeze the sample, and freeze dry it. It really doesn't matter if you have a flask. If you have a flask, you put your liquid inside, take this off, put your sample inside, and in 10 minutes, the sample is frozen. Or, you may want to use the Active App. When using the Active App, you will have your sample inside the vial, and in here, there is a two-stage vacuum. You have the filter underneath the cap, seal the vial, remove the existing sample, and replace it with the new sample inside the ActiveApp. Or you can do both of them here. So you can do multiple samples at the same time. You have your main sample in the bottom, and you can place these samples as well. You simply set it to freeze, cover it up, and then the whole sample will be frozen in 10 to 15 minutes. Right now, inside the chamber is a minus 55.8 degrees, so it is a much lower temperature than dry ice and acetone. Dry ice and acetone only produce minus 30 degrees, so the samples freeze very quickly. So assume now that it's frozen. If you have a flask, you place it in here, turn the vacuum on, and you freeze dry it. If you have a system with the Active App, you connect the Active App and you can use it with the same chamber. In here, you have eight ports or 10 ports, which is another great feature of the Sharp Freeze system. So you can have a chamber, which we showed earlier, and you can also have a tree with eight or 10 ports to use. There is another feature which adds to the Sharp Freeze's flexibility. You can do this, which provides you with a tray, place a 10 or 15 inch manifold cover on it, and you can place samples on the trays. You can also place vials and flasks on the trays, so you have the most flexible system for freeze drying in the market.